Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Red Dead 2 videos' channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the first mission in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, before we do get into this video, if you guys do go on to enjoy this, make sure you do drop a like to show your support on this video. Seriously guys, your support over the last couple of videos or so has been so awesome. As always, if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. This way, you guys will be able to stay updated with all of the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 news and much more to come here on this channel i do try my best to provide all of the latest news and updates for all of you awesome people so if you find yourself new around here stranger make sure you do subscribe turn on notifications and you will not miss any uploads from us Alrighty partners, let's get started with this video. So probably the most famous event that was actually mentioned back in Red Dead Redemption when you're actually talking to a guy called Landon Ricketts. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time, I must have been. I'm the only one left. Now there is a lot of speculation around Landon Ricketts. You guys know who that guy is, so of course if you played Red Dead Redemption, you will know who Landon Ricketts is. A man who was actually involved in the Blackwater Massacre in 1899. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So Landon Ricketts actually stated that he was part of the Blackwater Massacre and that, well, he shot off some people. However, he doesn't know who John Marston is. We see this in Red Dead Redemption when John Marston first meets Landon Ricketts, when John Marston is actually interrupted by some Mexican guys and Landon Ricketts comes over and compliments John for killing off the peasants. You kill peasants? You become a peasant. Of course, Landon Ricketts um, was famous back in his day. He was also known as the Gunslinger. Uh, such a very classical gun shooter in his prime. So, yeah, that's pretty much who Landon Ricketts is, just in case you guys don't know who he was. But essentially, now for the Blackwater Massacre, which is going to be very interesting, because at the start of the, the mission, it is said that a robbery goes wrong after Arthur Morgan and the Dutch Vandalin gang fled the scene from the robbery, being chased off by federal agents and the law, of course, the law enforcement. So, again, it is interesting to note that at the start of Red Dead Redemption 2, it almost seems like, yes, the first mission we will be introduced into the Blackwater Massacre, taking part in a robbery which goes wrong, and then from there, the whole story and events prior to Red Dead Redemption all unfold. And of course, we get to meet some of the, the characters like John Marston, Bill Williamson, and all of that good stuff. I'm not sure about you guys, but if you played Grand Theft Auto V, the single player from the start, it kind of reminds me a bit of the North Yankton mission. Now, just to give you guys a bit of a backdrop on that one, uh, essentially at the start of Grand Theft Auto V, you're involved in some sort of a robbery, then everything goes wrong, and you're being chased off by the police. And essentially after that, when everything just goes wrong, then of course the game kind of unfolds into a regular story. And I think that is what is going to happen with Red Dead Redemption 2, as it has been confirmed already that the Blackwater Massacre takes place at the start of the game and it just drags us uh, into the story and of course everything uh, set so perfectly after that so I think that is really cool and this is something I can see Rockstar doing for many of their future uh, titles for like Grand Theft Auto 6 um, and a future Red Dead Redemption game jumping straight into something that just completely goes wrong and then we just go straight into the story and everything just unfolds I think that is pretty cool and it really sets the, the tone for something really cool at the start something dramatic and then of course as we do progress into the story, uh, we find out a lot more details about it. Landon Ricketts was actually one of the only lawmen that survived the massacre, and I think that is a very interesting uh, concept since, well, he did mention that in Red Dead Redemption to John. There are a few theories regarding John Marston and whether if he was part of that massacre. Now, in my opinion, I don't think John was, and there are a couple of reasons for this. One is, if John was part of that, he would have surely mentioned that to Landon Ricketts or said something along the lines that he was part of the, the robbery in Blackwater, but of course John never said anything. And since Red Dead Redemption 2's first mission is the Blackwater Massacre, it makes sense that John wasn't part of that because if John was part of that, then John actually mentions in a situation where he was shot in a robbery, not given a location away, but John 
was shot somewhere in a robbery as part of Dutch's gang and of course as we know the Dutch gang members left John for dead. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. Now, this is very interesting. So I could think something or there is an event that takes place somewhere along the lines further into Red Dead Redemption 2 that we actually get to see that robbery that John is talking about where John is left dead and I think the one he is talking about is the one on the ferry boat um, where a girl called Heidi McCourt was actually shot dead by Dutch also if you guys remember that I know you guy actually mentions this to John Marston who John Marston does not recognize this ghost in Red Dead Redemption at all the I know you guy knows John Marston but John Marston does not know who he is so that is very interesting anyways guys I do thank you for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this make sure you do leave a like rating on this video that would be so super super awesome of you guys if you could drop a like and if you are new to the channel make sure you do subscribe and turn on notifications that way you you guys will be able to stay updated with all of our videos so far and make sure you guys do leave your comments on what you guys got to say about the Blackwater Massacre or any suggestions you guys have about the, the Blackwater Massacre. I'm sure you guys will have an opinion or something that will of course will be very interesting because I thank you for watching this video. If you guys did watch this video to the end make sure to leave a comment. You guys getting ready for this? Make sure to comment I am a red legend so there you guys go if you watch this video to the end or if you made it this far in the video comment right now in the comment section I am a red legend so guys make sure you do that as always guys I will catch you partners or should I say outlaws eh, outlaws outlaws in the next video peace out guys